Captain, U.S. Army, retired, Flo Groberg. How y'all doing? Pleasure. Medal of Honor recipient and author, Captain Flo Groberg, recently appeared at his alma mater for discussion and signing for his memoir, Eight Seconds of Courage. In 2012, during his second tour in Afghanistan, Captain Groberg saved the lives of many in his detail when he tackled a suicide bomber. He landed chest first, and when he detonated the ground, it went forward to the impact, and then I got lucky based on it, because I was so close, it actually threw me away, but what it did is it projected pro uh, the ball bearings in one specific direction. Yeah, people look at you as a hero, but in the end, we all went through the worst moments of our life in that specific moment. The book is the story of your journey, okay? And the eight seconds of courage. Talk a little bit about the process. You know, it's something that I never really thought about. And my fiance, Carson, she and I we were approached by Tom Saleo, and he talked to me about you know, the idea of writing a story and just discussing the fact that, you know, I'm an immigrant and, you know, really highlighting the, the man that didn't come home. President Barack Obama awarded him the Medal of Honor for his courage in 2016. Now, what the medal does present to you is a platform. I kind of saw it as an opportunity early on where I wanted to make a difference in a workforce transition piece. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to see more um, veterans start businesses. I want to see more CEOs. Um, out there of major corporations to be veterans. So I want more, you know, veterans to be successful. Uh, and I've seen what they can do and the way they think and the way they work together. It's about hope, man, it's, you know, it's, in, in my opinion. And it's about giving opportunities to, to others. Thanks for coming out, man. Absolutely, pleasure. pleasure. Flo's mission will never end. His mission in the Army might have been slightly different than what it is today, but he'll always be fighting for veterans. Hearing what he's done for our community and what he continues to do, he does serve as an inspiration to continue to give back to those that are, that are giving to the cause. Being in the presence of a Medal of Honor winner, that doesn't happen every day. And to hear him talk about the story and to share his story in such a comfortable way, it was simply amazing. I think sharing my story does help others because it, you know, it shows to them that it's okay to tell your story and, and you know speak about those tough days that you had. Instead of becoming a coping mechanism, I was able to express it and talk about it because I wrote in a book, so I got to talk about it the rest of my life. University of Maryland University College is now University of Maryland Global Campus.